Welcome back to Mixed Remix. Today we're investigating the infamous man flu. Is it a legit illness? Or just an excuse for guys to binge Netflix and avoid chores? Let's get into it. Man flu. The man flu? The man flu. Man flu. Man flu. Man flu may actually be a real thing. Picture this. A guy sprawled out on the couch, surrounded by a mountain of tissues, moaning like he's just about to meet his maker. Meanwhile, his partner, equally snotty, is juggling work, cleaning, and taking care of him. Sound familiar? But is man flu real? Or are men just expert whiners? Let's find out. Ugh. Quick, there's a man! What is it, Ness? He has the flu. My God. Not the man flu. That's right. First off, what the heck is man flu? It's basically when men turn into big babies over minor colds. But is there any science behind it? Or is it just an excuse for some extra pampering? For simplicity, let's say man flu is just a cold. Both colds and flu share some symptoms. Fever, body aches, headaches and a boatload of complaints. <laughs> but the flu can actually be serious, sometimes even fatal, while colds are like annoying little siblings of the virus world. Fun fact, you can prevent the flu with a vaccine. Too bad there's no vaccine for colds, so stock up on tissue and cough drops, people. So is man flu real? Let's dive into the science. A study called Man Flu Is Not A Thing showed men and women had similar symptoms at first. But by days five and eight, women were bouncing back like champs while men were still down for the count. Women also rated their symptoms worse at the start, but said they recovered quicker. So guys weren't just being drama queens, they actually recovered more slowly. Meanwhile, women feel awful at first, but get better faster. So ladies, maybe cut your guy some slack next time he's dying on the couch. Why does this happen? Turns out women have superhero immune systems. They produce antibodies better, partially because they have two X chromosomes with immune-related genes. Plus, the female hormone estrogen boosts their immunity. Who knew hormones could be so handy? Men are more likely to kick the bucket from some diseases like COVID-19, but with the flu, it's a mixed bag. It varies between countries and flu types. Plus, women tend to practice better hygiene, see doctors more often, and avoid risky situations. Basically, they're better at not getting sick. So guys, next time you're bedridden with a cold, remember you're not just being dramatic. Ladies, maybe give your man a break. Gender stereotyping isn't helpful and might even stop men from getting the medical help they need in the first place. Thanks for checking this out. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, hit the like and subscribe button, and share it with somebody who needs a laugh. Stay healthy, stay sarcastic, and we'll see you next time.